Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to edit videos on your iPad Pro. So we'll be using the iMovie app in this video. iMovie is completely free to download. And the reason why I recommend you use iMovie is it's a very easy tool if you're getting started with video editing. If you ever want to do you know, complex edits, iMovie is not the app for you. However, if you want to do basic cuts, splitting footage, speeding up footage, or you know, adding effects to footage, then this is the best tool for you. Even if you want to uh, do something as simple as adding multiple clips together, you can use this app. All right, so once we have iMovie, let's load it up. And from here, you're gonna see the projects page. So you'll see all of your projects. And from here, you're gonna tap on plus because you won't have any. And then you, this will create a new project. So we're gonna tap on movie. Uh, trailer adds like all this background footage and you don't want it. So we'll tap on movie. This allows us to add our own footage. So from here, we need to select the videos we want. So what we're going to do is we'll just tap on video and you'll see all of the videos which are on your iPad Pro. OK, so what we're going to do here is we want to select the videos. Keep in mind, if for whatever reason you have videos on the files app or you have videos on an external storage device, you will not be able to add them when you first create the project. I don't know why, it's just something iMovie does. I will show you how to add that right after. So what you're gonna do is you just want to load up uh, a clip or clips you want to add. In order to add one clip, you tap on the one you want and you see the tick, tap on the tick, and now it's gonna be added. If you want multiple, you just tap on you know, the second one, tick, third one, tick. There is no way to add multiple ones. If you do like a slide down, you can see that doesn't work. You know, two finger tap, you know, it doesn't work. You need to do one by one uh, tapping on each clip you want to add. Once you have added everything you want, you see a create movie, tap into it. And now from here, you should see everything has been loaded up. So how this works is first of all, most important tool is two fingers. So with two fingers, if you pinch them together like so, you can zoom out and you can see all of the clips right here. If you ever need to zoom in, do the reverse like so. Use one finger to slide around and you can see all of the clips which you added into the Final Cut Pro app. All right, if you ever want to add more, you tap on the plus at the top right, so tap on that, and you can see media and audio. So audio, if you go to something like sound effects, it will use default sound effects which are stored on your iPad Pro. You also have my music, which is music from the music application. So any music you have downloaded there, you can add right here. You can also see here files and from files, you can select you know, any audio file you would like to on your iPad. So tap on back here and you can see if it's stored on the iCloud drive, those music files, you go there on my iPad. Keep in mind, if you need to add music files yourself, you will need to you know, provide them yourself. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so let's go back here, back again. If we go to soundtracks, these are default soundtracks, which our movie allows. So if you want to add those, you can add them. Then we have media. So if we go to files, same story. Uh, if you have any, um, you know, music, not music, you know, videos from you know, the downloads or videos from anywhere else on the files app, you can add them. And that does include any external storage devices you have. You can add those footage from there. And of course, video here to add the videos, photos to add the photos. Backgrounds, these are default backgrounds if you do want them. All right, let's close out this. So let's do a simple cut. So in order to cut, what we're gonna do is we'll slide over. And first thing we need to do is we need to find the area in the video we wanna cut. So let's say, uh, if we go here, I'm gonna zoom in. Let's play this for a little bit. And I don't think there's any actual mistakes in this. So we'll just say, you know, these next couple of seconds, I don't say anything when I'm meant to say something. So in order to initiate a cut, all we're going to do is we need to do a split at the beginning of the cut and then another split at the end of the cut, right? So let's say, if I zoom in here, this is the beginning of the blunder. So in order to cut that out, we're going to tap on actions and split and you can see it will do a split right here and then we want to navigate to when the blunder ends so let's say here tap again split again and now we have this isolated clip right here 
So this clip is all blunder. Let's say I, mean, I was making mistakes. So what you're going to do is to cut it out. You see the delete button at the bottom right. Tap on the delete. And just like that, we've deleted the blunder. So let's play it now. So you can see it cut out any mistakes that were right there. All right, let's say you want to speed stuff up or even slow it down. Tap on the clip. And from here, you're going to see speed. Now, if you just change it, it's going to change the speed of the entire clip. Now, maybe something you want to do. But what if you want to just, you know, speed up a certain area of this video? So let's set this to one time speed, which is the default. And then we're going to do the same tip when it comes to, you know, cutting. But instead of deleting the clip, we're going to modify it. All right. So let's say I want the speed up to start here and end here. So what we're going to do. We'll navigate to where we want the speed up to start. We'll tap on actions, split. Then we'll find where we want the speed up to end. Let's say here. Tap on it again and split again. Then we're going to tap on that clip here. This is this is the part we want to speed up now. Tap on speed. And you can speed it up like so. So this beginning area here, full speed. And then you can see this part is in two times speed. So that's how you would speed something up. If you want to add overlay text, you just tap on titles, add the text you want. If you want the text to show up for a certain time frame, again, actions, split where you want the text to start. So we'll just do that for the sake of the video. Split where you want the title to end. Tap on the area you want that uh, title to show up. Tap on titles, enter that one in. And then same applies for everything here, filters and body. So, you know, this is a very basic uh, software, uh, as you may know. What if you want to add music to the background? Though? So we'll tap on the plus, tap on the plus, audio, and we'll use some default audio. So let's say this one here, you will need to download it, and then you tap on plus. All right, so now it's added the music into the background. So listen to this. And I don't know if the audio is actually going in. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, you can hear the audio. I'm going to skip to the middle because it seems like there's a big fade in. So we'll go here. So you can hear the music is in the background and the footage is on top. However, here's the thing. If you're using your own music or even if you're using the default music, there's going to be a situation where the music is going to be louder than your gameplay or you're speaking. That's an issue. So you want to get the balance right. So tap on the audio clip here. And you see the volume. You can set this in or out. So I would recommend you just set the volume lower. And then you set your voice louder. You don't want a situation where your voice is too loud so you can't even hear the music. But you also don't want a situation where the music is competing with your voice. So if the music is the same noise level as you speaking, not good. If it's like slightly bit less loud than you speaking, not good. You want it so your voice can be clearly heard, but you have that background music that you can also hear. So you want to get that, you know. Uh, you know, combination correct. That's all you need to do. Uh, play it back. If you were watching it and you could understand every single word and there was no part where you had to like worry about things, you're good to go. You have to consider that at the beginning of the track, the music may be quieter, but in the middle, it may be louder. Therefore, just make sure throughout the whole video, the music doesn't get louder than your voice. Okay, so let's say here that the music is, you can see, in the entire of the clip, but let's say I only want it to go to the middle. So you tap on the area you want uh, to the music to stop. Tap on actions and split. Now here's the deal: when it comes to Final Cut, uh, Final Cut iMovie, everything is attached together. So if I were to just delete this, then guess what? From here on out, there'll be no music. And if I wanted, let's say, this clip to have no music, but the rest to have music, then we wouldn't be able to do that because you'd have to add music on top. So the trick you do is you mute the music when you don't want any music. And then you have the music playing when you want the music playing. How do you do that? Okay, so let's say I want this whole clip to have no music. So if you drag it to like the middle here, it will auto lock on to the end of the clip. You tap on the music, actions, split. And now you can see this clip has our own separate track. And we go to mute uh, volume and we just set that to zero 
And so now there'll be no music playing here. There'll be music playing here and there'll be music playing here. So that is, you know, the main fundamentals when it comes to editing. How do we export? All right. So when we export, we're going to tap on done and it'll save the project. The project will also automatically save. That's just something to keep in mind. So it's not like if you close out the app, the, the footage will be lost. Uh, some recent changes may be lost, but just always tap on done when you're done. Okay, so if you tap on the uh, icon, which looks like YouTube, that will actually just play the video. And you can see what you've done. Like, so, you can see that in the timeline, of course. And the important part is the share. You tap on share, save video, and now the movie will export. How long this takes depends on your processing power. And it'll just add all of the effects, all the music, all that good stuff, which you added on. And of course, there's one more step, which is how to upload this to YouTube. I'll cover that as well. So you can see your movie was exported. We'll tap on OK. If you go back one more time, you should see your project right here. So if you don't want to render right away or export right away, you can always tap on your project to the later date, and then tap on the share, and you'll be good to go. If you're ever done with the project, tap on delete and delete the project. And the reason why is because if you don't delete the project, uh, the storage taken from, uh, from you know, having all the footage in, uh, will we'll mount up over time and iMovie will start to take up a ton of storage on your iPad. So it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, let's go to the photos and you can see this is that final rendered video. So you can see I've added all of the effects and stuff like that. Let's see if you can hear the music as well. Let's go here. And you can see that there's a speed up effect. I'm going to move over to here. Oh crap. Let's move over to here. And it seems like I muted that part of the video. Now, cool stuff. Okay. So the music was way too loud. I think, you know, you, you couldn't hear it. So if you ever wanted to, you rendered it wrong. You could always go back in and increase the volume of the music. The reason why I couldn't hear anything is because top right here I had the mute on. So, yeah, not the brightest. All right. That is all there is to it. If you ever want to do, you know, more complex stuff in the future, iMovie is not the application I would recommend. However, for getting started, I mean, you saw this is very easy. Once you know the basic functions, you can master this app within under an hour already. So that's all just to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.